Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing with you some of our recent pin acquisitions. Well, you can't quite see them all, I don't think. Um, but we're <laughs> going to be running through the recent pin acquisitions. These are a combination of Christmas and recent purchases when we went up to the Disney store in London. Um, we're going to flip the camera around, show you guys close up. Um, we may come back to uh, seeing our lovely faces in our Disney den. Um, but we'll just talk through the pins and walk through this board with you. First up, I want to show you guys a um, pin that I recently bought. We did a trip to London where we went to Sea Life Center. We did the Shrek's Adventure. And of course, we're in London. We had to visit the Disney store. Of course. Um, and I found this pin actually not in the right place, but in a random place in the store. I got really excited and then discovered it wasn't as rare as I thought and they were everywhere. <laughs> um, but it's the Disney 100 Years Celebration pins. And this is Chewbacca, so of course goes with my Star Wars collection. I actually really like the colouring on this. There was also a Grogu one, but I didn't like the colouring on the Grogu one. The sort of Grogu in silver, I don't know, it didn't quite look right. Um, but that was £9 and really like that pin. It's really pretty. Some of the 100 ones are really, really lovely. I think the Black Panther is beautiful. It's all this beautiful, like, jet black mm. colour in a, um, almost like, what's the, where it's, like, not shiny. So it's, yeah, it's like, like a brushed a, effect, Yeah, almost. oh, it's lovely. And um, it was just the eyes were a little bit piercing and bits of silver on it, yeah. which was just... It's a gorgeous pin. So I'm yeah, we'll, we'll try and see if we can find a picture online and put it up. And the other one I really liked actually from the 100 collection was Iron Man. I think again, very similar where it's red. where it's this brush colour and then you've got the bright red of Iron Man really stood out, didn't it? Yeah, really it's nice. lovely. Um, so the order of these pins, I apologise, it's going to be a lot of my pins first and then we'll be going through Tony's. We'll try and give you both our opinions on all the pins. Yes. So the next one up for me is, um, in fact, I'll do two together because they're from the same series. It's these Star Wars pins. Tony kindly got me these for Christmas. They're really, really cool. It's almost like an embossed effect. So one is Darth Vader in his um, TIE Fighter, and the other one is um, the gang, including an old... Um, who is that in the background? That is not quite Obi. gone. Obi Wan, it's that's Obi -Wan it. Kenobi. Old Obi Wan in the uh, Millennium Falcon. Good Star Wars knowledge there. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really cool pins. Not Star Wars. <laughs> Both of these are limited release as well. Um, I just think they're just really nice looking pins. So they're thank you for those. Gorgeous. I loved how it's the silver brush effect and it's metallic y mm -hmm. and um, really detailed. A um, little bit different to other pins that you know are really colourful and sort of pop off. Yeah, the they're, pins. they're really nice. Um, next up, we have this Stormtrooper, it's a Trooper Commander pin. Um, I've got a series of these, I don't know what the series is called, but I really like them, so it slots in with that. Um, it is an open edition pin, but it's really pretty and goes with, with that collection. Similar to the next one up, which is the Ski Speeder. <laughs> so it's um, a little pin, but again, it goes in that little collection quite well. Really yeah, nice. it was really nice. We got them again on our fabulous Disney Days, uh, sorry, our um, All Things Disney Delicious. Uh, Facebook group that we buy off of, which is really good. Unfortunately, it's sh shutting down, which is... Yeah, it's closing soon, I'm but I'm sure it'll <laughs> pop up again in uh, another guy's soon. I really hope so. Um, the next pin, um, this is quite a cool, pretty pin. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's part of the Pride collection, I think. Yes. Um, but it's all the different... Um, factions if you call them logos from Star Wars so you've got the rebels you've got the Jedi you've got um, the Empire and that side of things um, but it's a pretty pin my mum actually got me this one for Christmas it's so like that's a really stained nice. glass effect if you put it up yeah. to the light it looks really nice because you see the colors shine through it yeah really nice um, next up um, I love this four. pin. <laughs> yeah there's four that go together um, I'll show you them all together actually Do you want me to so let's go across all of them now um, so you can see the first one itself is Boba Fett, sort of like the head of Boba Fett, same Boba Fett, Bounty Hunter, um, really cool pin. Then you've got his jetpack, jet which also has the rocket in it. You've got the uh, Bounty Hunter logo. And then last up, 
I think, I, I might be wrong, comment below if you know more on this one than myself. Um, shout out to Nick, you were able to answer one before with the playing <laughs> cards. You may know more than me on this one, but I think it's just a symbol that Boba Fett wears. Um, it's a really nice little pin collection, and again adds up to my Star Wars collection really nicely. Yes, that's a, yeah, it was a set of four that I managed to get. Yeah. And I think if you look back on some of the videos you'll be able to see where I um, took it out of the um, um, out of the envelope and oh, didn't really? show you. Do you remember at the end? <laughs> oh yes, like, oh, yeah, one of, the, one of our unboxing videos. It's a Christmas present. And then it's also got um, this one which is chewy. Um, I really actually like the green so for those who don't know green is my favourite colour and the green in this is like the perfect green for me. It's almost like an army green. Really nice. Loyalty, chewy and yeah just a nice, nice pin. These two are fins, aren't they, up next? Yes, yeah, so the next two. Do you want to cover Finn's ones? Yeah, of course. So Finley um, was given these from his nanny from Christmas. He's got, I think, nearly a complete set of these. Mm. So the first one is Groot and Rocket. And they've got almost like a symbol behind them that represents their characters, I do think. Um, they were on sale, actually, in the Disney store. I do know this. And they mm -hmm. were going for, like, four, three pounds, some of them. And the um, I like the sort of the metallic-y bit at the background as well, which shimmers, and the 3D effect for the characters. And the next one is... Is it... What's his name? The Falcon. The Falcon, OK. Mm. And then his background, again, it's his symbol with a nice gold colouring there. They're nice, just basic pins. Yeah, not not my style of pins, I have no. to say, but Finn really likes that sort of style, the yeah. bright pins, and he loves Marvel, um, so they're perfect for him. <gasps> up next is your two favourites. Next up, uh, my two favourite pins. Tony got me both of these for Christmas. Um, very, very lucky and uh, fortunate to have got these, so thank you again okay. for those. Um, so first up is this one. It, of course, is from Robin Hood, and it's the cockerel who... Actually, it's really bad, I should know his name. <laughs> but he's the one who's like the bard in Robin of the Hood. Robin of the Hood. In um, Robin, Robin Hood. Robin of the Hood. Um, well, referred to as Robin of yeah. the Hood at times in different films. But he's the bard, and he's the one singing the songs in Robin Hood. Oh, but it's a, it's a multi-layered pin, so obviously he is sticking up on top of the background. Um, it's a pin trading night exclusive, so obviously it's night time in the background at Disneyland Paris, and you can see the um, Mickey Tower in the background. Is his name Alan? Alan, yes. Really? Alan. Alan. <laughs> of all the names it could be, <laughs> Alan. Um, but this is a limited edition pin. There is limited to 400 and it's actually number 14 as well so it's a really low number um yeah such a beautiful pin so thank you for getting me that's that one. all right mm -hmm. there was um again another sale on all things disney mm. and we're really lucky to get that somebody else got one but they're like we have two and i was like yes thank <laughs> you <laughs> yeah it's a lovely pin so thank you for getting that's that okay. great one to add to the robin hood collection and my final pin from um our recent acquisitions is another Robin Hood. Oh, that is um, so cool. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a lounge fly pin. Fly. So um, they are actually tradable in the parks, lounge fly pins, but I would never trade my Robin Hood pins. Um, it's no. so beautiful and colourful. So as you guys can see now, the wheels spin on this pin. I actually like that they're a bit wonky and offset. Um, it's obviously designed on purpose because as it goes along, they're designed to be wonky like the cart would be in the film. The colours and the detail on this are just amazing. You've got Sir Hiss in the background and Prince John. Yeah, it's just such a, a beautiful pin. So thank you for getting me that one as well. That's okay. That's no worries. Right, is it on to mine now next? It is. Now we are on to Tony's Yay! pins. So there's going to be lots of princesses. Um, of course. <laughs> Anything yeah. but. Okay, so my first pin, I'll be honest, something I probably wouldn't have got if it wasn't hadn't been in the sale, mm. but I'm really pleased that I did, and it is Elsa. She's really pretty, and it is, again, another limited edition. Um, you open it up, and yes, there's a little bit of slight damage, but I knew that was going to happen anyway because it was said in the description, but I don't care because it's still a beautiful pin. You've got um, Elsa's castle on the inside, and I think it says a Disney, uh, as Disneyland parks and then you've got a lovely picture of Elsa as well on the inside mm. this is number 349 of 700 so there's only 700 of these pins I have seen recently there is a Rapunzel one so I am 
so putting that Best on my together. my list of ones. Yeah, to I think get. I think this is actually a, it's gorgeous. <laughs> out of all the pins you've got, it's the most interesting. Yes. Um, so obviously you've just seen a close up of this. Uh, so interesting out of pins you've got recently because it's very very different to any other pin style. It's almost like a compact mirror. Yeah. And you open it up and there's a mirror on one side and the picture on the other or a locket. But it's actually also got a bit of rubber so that when you shut it. It doesn't sort of damage itself. Yeah, it's a really unique pin, I think. Good, and I paid ten pounds for it. Bargain. It's really, really good. I think it was originally twenty-five, thirty quid. Mm. Okay, on to my next two. I'm going to do these two together. I've started a little mini Hercules collection, and these are two cutie ones. That um, one I got from All Things Disney Licious uh, on a discount. I think it was eight pounds. So it's. Um, what is it called what's the style of this pin they said before because it's like the facial features but it's mm. hades who is just i think one if, of if you know villains. obviously you you guys can see this pin up close mm. if you know what this is comment um, below in terms of the style and the collection the pin series that it's from i can't remember off the top of my head yeah so um, i bought that again for like eight pounds which is really good um they're one of the new ones in the disneyland parks i actually traded for one and i got the evil queen from snow white mm -hmm. on, as a trader which was good and then the other one i bought in disneyland paris this is beautiful and it's like a villain set and it's almost got this like beautiful um filigree going around yeah, the edge stunning. and um i love the detail on hades it looks incredible i really it's, like the subtle purple yes it's really nice in his hair mm. oh what and then the background yeah, in the as background well. yeah it is really detailed nice. and uh, yeah, lovely pin. Again, a good one for my Hercules collection. Um, next one, uh, I got these from my lovely mum, bless her. She um, knows how much I love my pins. And so I got me two um, blind boxes for the, I think it's the window collection for Beauty and the Beast. Um, these are beautiful. Again, it's got that copper backing mm. and the copper That's metal. That's similar to Hercules, wasn't it? Yes, the Hercules um, cups yeah. uh, with the, the mosaic, mosaic bit on yeah. the front. Yes, exactly the same, which makes them really pretty. Again, mm. it's like they're stained glass windows. Um, one of them I've got is uh, Belle and Gaston, or is taunting her and annoying her and the other one is the the queen who actually um curses uh, the beast and you see that happen that's really nice i love that one the detail of them being stained glass is really nice i i really like that sort of the lines in between the the stained glass oh, is the also, same backing yeah, yeah absolutely really nice. they're really pretty so there's quite a few of those even though that is it's 12 pound a pin mm. box. Uh, do you get two in that? I think it was. So it's, it's not too bad. It's a six pound a pin. Yeah, they're really nice. Good. Okay, next one um, I brought recently online and I, I love this. I'm a huge Captain Marvel fan. Mm -hmm. Love Captain Marvel, especially with the beautiful interaction with Primrose at Disneyland Paris. So do check that video out as well Down below. if you get to. Um, this was new, come out in Paris and somebody's selling it online. So I was like, I have to get it. And it is her symbol that's like on, on her suit here. Mm. And it's amazing i love it there is some slight damage to this which is upsetting but it's was still it a advertised pin. as a damage pin? no no it wasn't which is a shame and i did sort of uh comment on it saying it was a, it was a shame if it had told me i would have asked possibly for a little bit of a discount because i think mm. it was like 12 12 13 pounds for this but i love it i love the detail i love that it's that symbol there was a few of them so i suppose it's okay it might be a trader if i can get a better version at some point yeah, it almost looks like it's got pin pricks in it where it's been stored yeah. with other pins, unfortunately. But yeah, but nice pin. It did have a cover on it, which is annoying. Mm. So yeah, it was alright. Okay, let's do this one next. Again, this is from my um, lovely mum and also Ollie's mum. They bought me the same, so I do yeah. have a duplicate, <laughs> which is a shame. But possibly one of my favourite Rapunzel pins. It is her gorgeous crown. Now this again is limited edition uh, of 300. So there's only 300 made, and I've got two. <laughs> I've got a trader. So if anybody wants to trade for something else, please do let me know because I'm more than happy to. I've just bought lots of bags and done some trading today already. So it is beautiful. So mm. many people have commented on this as well. So detailed, isn't it? And it's thick and heavy. Yeah. It's, it's almost feels like it's real gold. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> nice. Do you want this one next? Yes. So again, this is another purchase in Disneyland Paris. I bought this because I loved the look of it. Mm, I don't really pretty pin. collect Walt Disney Studio pins, but I liked it. It's it's a classic, and it just come out 
those like within the first two days of us being there so i was like yeah i want to get one I, I feel like it relates a lot to that trip as well because that trip is when avengers campus had just opened yeah so we spent a lot more time in the studios parks than we normally would on a trip to paris so i think it kind of is quite fitting with that as well yeah and the glitter in the background and just with the black silhouette it just it's simple but effective mm, yeah, and really i really nice. really really like it and really it's nice. one i'll always keep never trade and then up finally um these are a lot to go through so i'll just quickly flip through them these are the designer collection pins so um i wanted rapunzel from day one my mum got me aurora um straight away all the way from the usa which was amazing um they retail at 22 pound each now mm -hmm. it's they've got designers to design dresses for specific princesses uh, they had the dolls then made they then had a pin made for each of the designs and then the designer signs at the back now when you open them up you've got this like beautiful glass case um, that sort of showcases a little bit of what the dress looks like and the character so I've got the Rapunzel one here again it's almost like a metallic-y almost like um, marble marble yes effect in the background mm. which is really pretty if you catch it in the light um, it's got a magnet as well so that almost these don't flip open which is a good idea they should have yeah. done it with the castle collection thinking about because mine is constantly opening and mm -hmm. it's going to end up damaging the hinges but these are not limited edition they're limited release mm -hmm. apologies if i said limited edition before i managed to get five of these for christmas which was amazing the first one is rapunzel she's really beautiful then the second one is princess jasmine again with the marble effect in the background and um, when you open her up it's beautiful even her whole dress I mean the design of it is absolutely stunning then the next one is Mulan again not one I collect but still good great pin to have and I could always use it as a trader very beautiful dress that she's got there mm. um, as a pearlescent like white background which is nice uh, the next is Ariel she's really pretty definitely one I'll be keeping because I love Ariel is one I do like to do like a mini collection on yeah it's a really really pretty one that one actually I love her bag which is a seashell and it's got the pearls which are the handle it's got a big pearl <laughs> necklace on as well yeah it's very very beautiful and then the last one is Tiana again one I'll keep because I like collecting the princess and the frog mm -hmm. pins I'd actually say that she's got the least pretty dress on though yeah which is such a shame I mean they could do so much with the greens as well mm. but they don't yeah look, even like the background's not shimmering yeah. as much which is a shame and i think but it's, still it's such an underrated film princess and the frog we absolutely it love should, it yeah. especially the music i think the storyline and the music is brilliant really underrated and i really like that it went back to the classic animation style yeah. as well which is really nice perfect so yeah that's all of our pins yeah, so we really hope you enjoyed looking at our recent pin acquisitions. Um, we certainly enjoyed, um, A, purchasing them, but also sharing them with you. Yes, and um, there will definitely be some more. There is one video that we've not videoed yet, but we're going to be very soon. Um, I was very lucky to go into a competition and I've won something from a uh, Facebook group, which I'm so excited about. I've never won anything, so yeah, we have no idea what's in it. No idea. Um, it's it's a currently bag in a big of stuff. It's like the Disneyland Paris bags. When you shop at Disneyland Paris, you get the big bags. Um, it's one of those full of things. Could be one thing. Could be a hundred things. Don't know. We don't know. We don't know what's in it. It might be pins. It might be other things. The group typically sells or trades with pins and sort of like Disney Disneyland merch. Paris merch, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah, exciting times. So that'll be here soon. Yes. Um, but do comment below if you know what that Star Wars pin is, if you know what collection the Hades pin is from. But also just let us know what your favourite pin was. Cutie pins. Cutie I pins. Think, I think is, it's it, a cutie is it a cutie pin? pin? If you know, tell us. Um, but also come say hi. We love a chat. We love a chat in the comments. Um, tell us about what you collect. Um, we'd love to see it. We'd love to talk about it more. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we do a lot of pin videos, but we also do all things Disney, geeky things and days out as well. So if you like that sort of content, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. See you very soon. Bye. Yeah. Bye.